Father, you, know, you take Anna, Lord, and she wants to be with you at your feet to hear what you have. But it's not just for her. It's for this church, for this time, for this day. You have picked a specific word that we need to hear. So I thank you, Father, that um, you make Anna, she makes herself available to you. And that, Father, we all make ourselves available to you for this word, Lord. So thank you, and by your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, fall in this place. Rise up and fill each one of us, including Anna, Lord, that your word comes out perfect, perfectly, as you have given it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Debbie. Praise the Lord. Like most of you know, I'm a mother of three children. Three children who do a lot of sports. And in sports, there is always a coach or coaches. Good ones, bad ones, something in the between. I know that many here, they know very many bad football coaches. Am I right? Oh, well, that one I have heard. I don't really know much about it, but so I heard. But in sport, the coaches are very needed. I have experienced from last few weeks, actually, my daughter Sophia, when she plays handball, and she had a little bit, not hard time, but a little bit difficulty to find her rhythm and confidence again when the new season started. And then I went to see the one mass. And I was looking like, wow, just like that. Before, the day before, it was a little bit like this. And today, wow, what's the difference? And then I saw, she's a goalkeeper, not the easy place to be. And then there was a man, coach, called Juan Antonio, who is a keeper coach. And she was standing close where Sofia is keeping. And all the time her mind was going. And I was like, what is going on? And I know that when goals went in, he wasn't dead at, oh, back you, back you. No. He was like, well done, Sophia. Yes, you're doing so well. I love how you trust your instincts. Just a little bit better, just a little bit body like this. And you got it, you got it. You're doing so well. Amazing. And I was like, wow. And then minute after minute, she was like, yes, I'm doing amazing. And then when she got, she was like, raise your hands and shout, yes, I did it. And she was a bit of a shy, and then she started like, yes, I did it, yes. And she was like, you are good, you are worthy, and you can see it. I did it, you can, you are worthy. And she was really believing. You can see her body, how she was like, yes, I got it. Wow, I'm on fire. And I was like, amazing. If the coach can do that kind of changing in a young girl, Wow, how she was growing, 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 growing. She was like on fire, unstoppable. Bring, bring it, bring it. I will stop them all. And that's how she was, unstoppable. And then after the game, she said that, Mommy, I need Juan Antonio next to me. And then I saw the picture that, that Juan Antonio in our life, it's God. That's the way how we need God to be our coach. We need God to be there with us because that's how we will go grow. We will find a fire. We will be unstoppable. We'll be strong and fearless. And we accept God to be next to us. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. I can do some. Yeah? No? No. I can do all. Wow. God gives me strength. Wow. Christ gives us the strength and not only to endure the tough times, but also to grow during them. We are meant to see our faith blossom in the right face of our bodies. 
Because God gives us with the armor what we need to stand firm. Our faith should even blossom during the trials because we can have the armor of God, but we need to stand firm. In Ephesians 6, verse 13. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your crown and after you have done everything to stand. Armor of God to stand firm. Isn't it amazing? Praise the Lord, right? Amen. Amen. Yes, it's amazing. No matter what kind of coach you would have in your team and what kind of protection, you know, like ice hockey, they have be really protected, you know, to get there and do their thing. But it's not anywhere near what the armor of God right. can do for us. Yeah. Praise yeah. the God. You know, as a good coach, it guides you in the game. Where you should go, what you should do, or what you should not to do. Right? And the players, they listen to their coach. And when they listen to their coach, they get it. They go where they are going, where they're supposed to go. But God does even more. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. If we are ready to listen to God, He will teach us. He will help us. And He will be the, our coach when we will be sometimes lose that, oh, whoa, what should I do? He knows. And He's ready to teach and instruct you the way it should go. You know, God's plans are perfect. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and the hope. Wow! To give you the future and the hope, not only for today, that to win the game right here, just today. No, future and the hope. Isn't it beautiful? Future and the hope. If we let the God to be in our life, we will have the hope and better future. I say like many people when they're in the game, they really, really trust their coach. Sometimes even what they say doesn't always be right maybe, but they will do that. Okay, okay, I will do it. You say so. I will do it. Because they have told me to do so. So why sometimes for us it's hard to listen and obey what God tells us when we know that that's the truth? In every situation, that is the truth. And we can hold on it. We can trust it. And it will never lack. If we put our hope of, of, of people, you know, anything can happen. When we put our hope in the Lord, and when we listen to Him, when we let Him to be the one who guides us, it will never go wrong. Because He is the truth. Proverbs 3 Verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. In all your ways. Not some. Not one here. I pick up this one, but it's easy. I will choose that one. I'm fine. Okay? No, today is a good day. I will choose two or three ways. Those ones, no, because they are a bit hard, you know. It's not for me. No, they are for me. They are for you. They are for all of us. Always. Submit always. It's not always easy, is it? 
no, no, no. And I will strengthen you and surely I will help you. That's what God say, right? If we do our parts, he will do his. Because that is his promise. You know, sometimes we are just too stubborn or too busy to listen him. And I think that today is the word that busyness is a problem. That we are so busy with so many different things. And we don't actually have the time, what would be the most important thing, where we get everything what we need. We, we get our strength, we get our hope, we get our future. We get everything what we need. So that should be our priority. To let God be the coach in our life. And listen just Him and what He has for us. Because His plans are perfect. Even sometimes when we turn our backs to him, he will be accepting us and again and again and again. But if you do it in real life, in the sport, for example, you said, hey, I want to go to that team to play now. How they will look you after that? <clears throat> Don't come back. Okay, if you are Cristiano Ronaldo, maybe for him they will accept back. But most of the people, no. They say, Don't come back. Door is closed. <laughs> no more. And God is not like that. Because He is a loving Father. And He cares us so much that His doors are open. And we decided that, Father, here I am. Forgive me, accept me, and I accept you. And He is there. Yes! Wow! And isn't that beautiful? You know, sometimes in the business of life, you know, in this end of this summer, I said that I want to change the ways of my life, generally. Eat healthy, do sport, try to change the way I am, like in the world way first. And I just started to realize that even after every time I went to gym, I become strong. I said, wow, I don't breathe so strongly anymore, and I can go faster, I'm a stronger, I say, wow, every time I feel stronger, I feel like, yes, I'm gonna be unstoppable soon, woo! <laughs> I'm not there yet, but you will see. God is my strength, you will see. You can do it. Amen. You can do it. But the same way, when you put your time to be present with our Lord, when you forget that busyness and you say, we find time, that, okay, I need to go to gym. I said, I need to have an exercise for my spirit. Yeah. I need that even more. Both together, great. We need that both. But we need to find a way to go our spiritual gym with God and say, here I am, let's do, let's do this. And time after time after time, you will feel that you will be stronger. You will be on fire. And that's amazing. And that's the two combinations that I'm going to use for, for my being, being better. Because one will not be enough. If I only go to gym, I will never be unstoppable. But when I do my gym and then I spend time with my Lord, worshipping and just learning and just spend time with Him, I can do it. Amen. We can do it. Because God makes us strong. You know, in life, often... The things that stop us to going are fear. And I think our enemy just likes us to put the fear in us like, I can't do it. I'm not worth it. It's just not a good day. No, 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 I'm not strong enough. Lies. 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 All lies. Because we are worthy. We are strong if we put our hope in the Lord. He will make us strong. We had when my daughter's handball came and she was playing with the selection team of Malaga. And they were in the final of the Andalusian Championships. And I saw that, uh, I thought she was quite in a good place. 
And then they asked her to change. The other keeper was playing and she did not maybe play as well that the coach wanted. They said, Sophia, go there. And I saw that she was shaking. She was like, she walked there like this. You know, she didn't have really time to be prepared to get ready emotionally when, when they said that, hey, you know, from that minute you will play, but it just go, go now. No physical warm-up, no emotional warm-up, nothing. And I saw that she was like shaking. And I saw her sign, pray, pray. And I, I, I hope she, she saw it, because when you're at that moment, it's not always like, oh, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? And I saw a sign, pray. And then I see the change. She starts, she put her armor of God and she was standing firmly. She was not, she was not afraid no more. Amen. And that's the thing, because those moments, they will come. Because that's the life. In sport, in real life, those things will come. And when we are ready to trust our Lord, we can stand firm and not to be afraid. Amen. Isaiah, Isaiah, 41, 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Surely I will help you. Surely I will unhold you with my righteous right hand. I will strengthen you, and surely I will help you. Do not fear, because he's a perfect coach. You can trust his words. You can trust his ways, because they won't harm us. Amen. They will protect us and give us hope and the future. God is with us wherever you go. Not only in sport, in everyday life, in every situation, wherever you go, he goes with you if you let him. You know, when I was thinking my daughter's situation, that as a great coach that Juan Antonio is, he can never go to stand right beside of my daughter and holding her hand. Wow. He needs to be maybe 20 meters down and be shouting, and she might even not hear because there's a lot of crowd. And I'm sure as good coach he is, he would like to be there just next to her, but he cannot. But God can. But God goes there with her and is right beside of her. And that's the difference. That's God. He is with us wherever we go. And He will hold our hand and say, I'm here. I'm here. Sometimes when things are hard, He's there. He's there to helping us so that we will find the right way. And we will go the right, right way in the right time. We need to just listen to him. We need to listen to him and know his truth, know his ways, and believe in it. Because that's the way it goes. First Corinthians 15, verse 57. But thanks to be oh. He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He gives us victory. Amen. He gives us victory. Wow. Amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? That is our Lord. He gives us victory. Who wants to play in the teams who lose? Not me. I'm very, I'm very, no, no, no. I want to win. I want to be strong. I want to be brave. How oh, I like victories. I want to play in the team where the goals will tell that we have victory. Even before the game has started. That's right. We know that we have a victory. Amen. No matter what happens during that, we shouldn't doubt it because we have victory. Amen. When we 
accept to be in God's team. We will be stronger, braver, and we will be unstoppable. Yesterday I went to the amazing women's meeting and I was laughing when I heard that, wow, the team, imparable, unstoppable. And I said, yes, that's what I am preaching tomorrow. Unstoppable. And the only way we can be unstoppable is we build a good connection with our Lord. To do those exercises with Him, to spend time with Him, and when we do so, we are unstoppable. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to be unstoppable. Do you want to be unstoppable? We all want to be unstoppable. How we know how to do it, right? So now it's time to go in our spiritual gym. Just get it right. And we will see how we will grow. How the fire will go stronger. We will be brave and we will fear nothing. Amen. Because we play in his team. Hallelujah. And his team always wins. Amen. Praise the Lord. I have a song. What I would like us to sing together. And it tells us that nothing is impossible. Maybe we can do some physical exercise too while we're worshiping and do our spiritual one.
With him, we can do everything. And nothing is impossible. Because he the one who will give us strength. He will break all the strongholds. And he will make us strong. So if you have never decided before that, Lord, I want to be in your team. Or maybe you felt a bit distance and wanted to go somewhere else and now you want to make the commitment that I want to come back, Lord. Today is a perfect day to do so. And tell your Lord that here I am. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me. So if you want pray with me, Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you that you will make us, you will make us unstoppable. Lord, I want to play in your team. And I will accept you as my Lord and my Savior. With you, we have victory. Oh, thank you for forgiving me and thank you for accepting me the way I am. And thank you for making me a better person of myself. And thank you that you will never leave me. That you will never leave us. And we can always trust you. Thank you, Father. We can always trust your love. Because you are amazing, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we say Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because he's amazing. Amen. Thank you, Werner. Amazing. He wants to be unstoppable. You know, if to join then, his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Wonderful word this morning. Thank you, Lord. So if um, we just want to give thanks. And Father, I just do indeed give you thanks that you have encouraged us this morning. You have made our spirits alive even more than they were. And that, Father, you have prepared us to go out filled this morning with the wonders of you wrapped in your love. And so, Father, we just thank you for all you've given this morning to us, for the remembrance of remembering those who gave so much for us and where we are today, and for you and what you did for us for eternity with you. So, Lord, help us indeed be prepared and equipped to go each day on your team for your kingdom, Father, in the strength and empowered and with love. I thank you for the offering today, Lord, that, Lord, you have a purpose and a plan for that, Lord, as you have plans and purposes for us. How could we go wrong? <laughs> More time with you, Lord, is what we need. So thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you would like prayer for anything that's gone on today, please come and see our prayer ministry team. They will be overwhelmed to pray with you for anything that may be on your heart. But please stay for tea and coffee, and we would love to come around and chat with you. Amen. Amen.